Alright, I want to try and get by this video and explain some ideas I have on the matter in two different ways. I'm going to share with you, well, what we're talking about here, I guess that would be a good idea to share with you. Uh, business, we're talking about how to start a business. Those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Brando Linick. It's a pleasure to meet you. And um, when it comes to business, I'm going to share with you my experiences and then I'm going to share with you specifics. All right, so I'm going to touch base for those of you who are looking at, you know, what you actually need to start a trucking company and business, a trucking business. Um, there's certain things. Obviously, you get your business license, you register your business, you maybe have a facility, a store, um, or even if you don't have a store or a shop, that's totally fine. You're going to get one maybe later on in life, and that's cool. But what you need, obviously, is a truck. Once you have a truck and you've got a trailer, it's all about networking with people. And as simple and cliche as it sounds, it's not simple. It can be frustrating going and doing, doing meetings with people, rescheduling meetings with people. I'm just being completely transparent with you. Uh, and these are just ideas I could throw your way. Tap into a niche. This will save you a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. If you want to start a trucking company, this is what you need. To tap into a niche of what you want to do with your trucking business. What do you want to haul? All right. Do you want to get into the supermarket business where you're dealing with, you know, groceries, where you're dealing with produce, or do you want to get into the construction arena where you're dealing with windows, doors, tiles, pallets? What do you want to do? All right. You want to get into a niche, find a specific niche and stick with it. Don't be all over the place with like clothing, retail, all this stuff because your income's going to always go like this. It's always going to fluctuate and it'll never be stable, all right? And you want something that's stable. So that's just the best idea I would give you um, because a lot of people, they're all over the place when they get started. From that point on, you want to negotiate contracts with companies. You want to go to companies, so if it's like Windows and Doors, a company like Geldwin, all right, I know they do uh, contracts uh, with independent truck owners and what they'll do is they'll contract you out. Typically, you got to have a couple different freight vehicles. You got to have at least like 20 or something, but you know, just as an idea, you can go to companies like Geldwin and you can negotiate with them a contract of a year two years of you know hauling their stuff freight forwarding the stuff that they have and that they provide windows and doors so that's just an idea tap into a niche and then negotiate a contract contracts are what's going to cover your butt if you can't get a contract if you can get an odd job go for it too it still looks good you still build experience but that is really what you need you need to network with other people so I hope that helps you out guys at least go in dive in give it a try and uh, experience it but that said on the flip side of the coin because I know there's two of you watching this video right now those of you who are really passionate you want to start your own trucking company Go for what I just shared with you. It does work. I've seen people who have made it work for them doing that. Um, but those of you who are on the flip side of the coin and you're looking at just getting into business for yourself, making your own income, being your own boss, if I'm speaking to you right now, all right, the rest of this video is for you because we're not talking about trucking anymore. All right, I'm talking about business. From a business to business person, if you're wanting to do it to quit your job, increase your income, the best tip I'll give you is learn how to do this in a way where you can have a life at the same time, where you're not driving in a truck all day, all day long, where you're not doing things that are physically demanding, and you don't have to go and do meetings with people. Because if you're doing those things, all right, it's going to be mentally exhausting, the exertion you put to your business, because every time you're producing, you're making money. And when you want to take a vacation, a day off, you're not producing, you're not making money. So I would encourage you, if you're wanting to, and like I said, we're not talking about trucking anymore, if you're wanting to build a business to be your own boss, create your own income, learn to build a business through technology. Learn how to leverage the internet. It was by far the most profitable business model that I'd come in contact with going back to 2014 when I saw someone, I actually got introduced to someone who was doing this, making lo loads of money, like just stupid amounts of money, multiple six figures, and it was their first year in business, and they were only able to do this because they didn't have trucks, supplies, equipment, employees. They didn't have to go out and do meetings with people. They didn't have to bug friends and family. They didn't have to reschedule meetings with people. They didn't have to deal with loading and unloading things. And because they weren't dealing with that, they had time freedom. They actually were building a business and income on the internet and having a life at the same time, being able to enjoy the money that they're making. And I began to model and copy them. And it took me a period of three months because I didn't have to reinvent the wheel and you know have supplies or equipment or trucks. And I was able to create a full-time income business working part-time online. I share that with you not because it's going to happen to you. I'm not guaranteeing you the same results. I'm not telling you that the internet's the magical solution to all your problems. Okay, I, If I told you that, I'd be full of, I'd be full of myself, okay? 
I'd be a fool sitting in a chair talking and wasting your time and my time. Um, so I'm not promising or guaranteeing results, but from a business to business person of opportunity perspective, I would encourage you, if you're wanting to build a business, quit your job or increase your income, learn to do things through the internet, learn to leverage technology. If you don't know this stuff, your competition is going to learn it and they're going to blow you right out of the water. So that's my tip. That's my overview. This stuff does work. It can work for you. I would encourage connecting with someone, modeling someone, getting a mentor at least who can show you the ropes because when you're walking down the path yourself, being your own tour guide, you're going to get pulled and dragged in so many different directions. You won't know what the hell to do. So I hope you guys like this if you've got questions put them down below i'll get back to you but in ending out this conversation if you'd like to learn more information about building a business and income through the internet connect with me on my site don't be shy it's 123marketingtips.com if you're serious even though what i've done is not a trucking company if you want to learn to build a business online i'll see you there and i'll see you on the beaches of the world take care